Hey guys, welcome to work makeup look two. So I um, did a kind of a, a darker lip than last time and just a wing eyeliner. So if you want to see how I got this look, keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm going to start off with the Clean Slate Timeless uh, Tarte Smooth Primer, which I actually cannot use because it breaks me out in my cheeks. So boo because I do kind of like it. And then I'm going to move on with my L'Oreal Cushion, um, what is it called? True Match Lumi Cushions, and I'm in the color W2, and I do like this foundation, but I kind of feel like it takes a lot to get the coverage that you desire. You know, it's a really, really thin, lightweight coverage. It's not as loomy as I would like it to be, but I do enjoy it. It's a great drugstore foundation, the best i found. And then I'm moving on to my NARS um, creaseless concealer in custard. I'm just kind of putting it on the normal places I always put it on. Um, I know I feel like half the time you guys watch me just hit myself in the face with a beauty blender. <laughs> it's like 90% of my videos. But moving on to setting the face using um, the banana shade and the lightest shade in my Kat Von D palette. I just set the points at which I put the highlighter on because you want to highlight those points and then just hit the rest with the Smooth Operator by Tarte. Going in with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, I'm using kind of the banana color at the top to just set my eyes, and then I'm using the Transition Shade underneath, which is kind of just like a very neutral brown, not too cool, not too warm, just to give myself some depth and dimension. Um, not doing a ton of shadow, that's the only thing I'm using, and just very light hand with both. Now I'm taking the NARS the NARS Eye Paint and a clean, that's the key, is a clean MAC 266 brush. Once they get hard, um, you kind of make that skipping. So you need to clean it every time so the bristles are nice and soft so you don't have anything skipping over your eyelid. And so I'm just going to start by doing my whole eye and lining kind of from thin on the inside and then going out thicker. And then just bringing it up very, very lightly to have very small, not too thick wing. So moving on, I'm using Corrupt to just line my waterline because I have such light lashes. You can see I did my lashes and my eyebrows already off camera. And uh, this helps so I don't have those kind of floaty looking lashes when I have a dark liner on. Using the Tardis uh, liner in Latergram, I'm just gonna line my lips. I really like this color. I think that it's just a nice kind of brown mauve it's not too too red or too pink and so I just kind of line all over because I do want this to stay all day and then going over it with the liquid liner in TBT no sorry the liquid lipstick in TBT I'm going over with the liner and I do really like this lipstick it's very moussey I love the formula I'm also making sure I don't have any on my inner room on my mouth so I don't get it on my teeth because that would not be pretty um, I use this blush Dossier by NARS, and now I'm just using my Laura, uh, Laura Mercier same old highlighter that I use for almost all my work looks because it's just nice and light. And then, of course, blending because blending is key. And that's it. Very easy look, guys. Hope you enjoy. All right, guys. So this is the final look. As you saw, I kind of jumped through things. I only showed one eye. Um, I didn't show me doing like a lot of my face, you know, I just use for blush. I just try to use a really um, Neutral one from NARS. It was very brown same Laura Geller highlighter same bronzer um, I did my eyebrows off camera. I just wanted to kind of simplify the process. This is really about the wing liner I, I use a NARS um, Gel which I'm not like eh, I'm kind of okay with so, Misopotmia what the hell does that even mean? Anyways, it's like a dark brown because I think black is just a little too harsh for work. So I did that and kind of just like a very simple wing. Put mascara on using obviously my Chantecaille. And then because I have such light eye, like light eyelashes, you wouldn't have to do this if maybe you have really, really dark roots and you already have that kind of like rim of darkness just from the roots of your lashes. But I did add and corrupt the um, Urban Decay liner in dark, dark brown just to kind of make sure I didn't have like that floaty line look. Um, I, can I can definitely have a tendency to do that if I don't line the waterline on my lashes. So that's a little trick that I like. Uh, it doesn't add like a ton of drama, but it also kind of, see, I think it feel like it kind of finishes the look off. Hopefully you can kind of tell the difference on camera. I know I can tell the difference in person. 
So for lips, like I said, I did a liquid lipstick because I'm doing meetings and a lunch and then more meetings, which means that I'm gonna be constantly kind of talking and eating and I don't want my lipstick to move a lot. So I used the Tardist lip paint in the, co in the color um, TBT, throwback Thursday. And the liner that goes with it is called Late Gram. So obviously they're like Instagram themed as opposed to like the other ones that were like Namaste and something else that were like yoga themed. So these are the colors I chose and I will take this with me and touch up if I have to because I like touching this makeup up. And that's pretty much it. You can definitely pair this with like a more chill down look if you're not, if you're not concerned about your lipstick moving around like I am. Um, or you can just make a really, really light nude liquid lipstick. You have options. Um, this is definitely a very versatile look. I just throw my hair back. If you notice, I wear my hair back a lot for, for work stuff because honestly, I'm lazy and my hair is so, so long. It is a slightly unprofessional, in my opinion, and it is so, so long that I might touch it sometimes or play with it and I don't like that. You know, people who are constantly playing with their hair and stuff, that's just not professional. So I will tuck it back, put it, you know, in a ponytail or a low bun or something and, um, and yeah, and that's kind of, this is the a very similar look. This is my more like dramatic work look. I think this is if I'm just have a little bit more time, I wanna wear a little bit more makeup. Um, just the circumstances in, in which I'm going to for the day, I feel like I can wear this, right? So hopefully you like this series so far. If you have any requests for looks um, or inspirations, either tweet me, my Twitter is down below, or message me below saying, hey, I would like to see something like this. I mean, hell, I don't know. I'll get as creative with this as you want, but I will do genuine makeup that I will wear. I'm not gonna just do makeup and then not wear it to work. So I'll, I'll show you guys a range of looks that I wear. Some exciting, some super boring, but it's part of work makeup, I guess. So with that said, hopefully you enjoyed this look and you're enjoying this series. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thumbs up if you like the work series idea, and I will see you guys next video. All right, guys, thanks.